Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today we're going to be covering the Fallout character that I plan on building. Fallout 4 is going to be out in a couple of days, so I wanted to plan out my level 1 through 50 with its perks and stat allocation. So yeah, let's get into it. We'll take a quick look here. So for my special, my initial starting build, I'm going to have 1 strength, 6 perception, 2 endurance, 1 Charisma, 9 Intelligence, 3 Agility, and 6 Luck. Ideally, these are my ideal stats that I want to try to get to. And then, um, my end game, these are the stats that I, I would like to get. I mean, the end game stats are almost maxed out, but, uh, yeah. But, you know, you'll see. These three columns right here are the perks and their ranking and what level you can unlock them at. So for example, Rifleman, you can unlock level three Rifleman at level 28. The ones that I've highlighted here in yellow are ones that I'm not going to pick up. They're optional, I guess. This is, um, what's Locksmith for? Let's see here. Yeah, so Locksmith 4 is your bobby pins never break during lock picking. Uh, I don't really feel like that's warrants a perk slot so the ones in yellow i'm definitely not going to be perking up perking up picking up um but yeah here's a list so like rifleman awareness locksmith these aren't in any order night person uh vans gun nut hacker engineer science nuclear physicist sneak scrounger sniper aqua boy uh, this is only for levels 1 through 50, so it, the list might grow later on. Um, this list on the right here is just something I was kind of uh, prioritizing. Uh, what what perks that I want to get. Uh, reds are the ones that I really want. Uh, oranges are, I want to have them by end game, and yellow are kind of optional, I guess. So as, as you're kind of noticing when you're looking at this list, um, before we get into the build, the... I don't list what each perk is or what each perk does. That's already been found out for the most part. And um, there's plenty of websites out there that you can see what each perk does and what each perk level unlocks at and how much it increases with each level. So I'll put a link to that below. Um, and with that, we'll get into the build. So approximately, I'm going to do this build. It's, it's a roadmap, it might change based on how the game is and how certain mechanics in the game work and stuff so um, but yeah as far as it, as far as on paper goes I'm gonna be taking rifleman rank one at one locksmith rank one at two uh, hacker rank one at three scrounger at four gun nut at five science at six um, locksmith rank two opens up at level 7 so I'll be taking it then uh, rifleman rank 2 at level 8 hacker rank 2 at level 9 gun nut rank 2 at level 10 <laughs> ah, excuse me be taking engineer rank 1 at level 11 nuclear physicist rank 1 at level 12 and sneak rank 1 at level 13 so this is where it might be a little bit different so these rank 1 ones are obviously they're available at level 1 um, but I just have to pick them up later on due to I, I pick so many perks um, so If there is Radiation weapons available at the beginning of the game nuclear physicists might move up into this first uh, six Perks here But eh, for now, I'll just leave it there um, nuclear physicist rank 2 at level 14 uh, Night Person, rank 1 at level 15. Awareness, rank 1 at level 16. I don't know about Awareness, if I'm going to pick that up or not yet. But um, take Science at rank 2, level 17. Locksmith, rank 3 at level 18. Uh, Vans, that's kind of optional. I don't know if I'm going to pick that up or not yet either. Rank 1 at level 19. I'm going to save my rank 20 point. Excuse me level 20 point. I'm gonna pick up hacker at rank 3 at level 21 I'm gonna save my uh, level 22 point uh, This save 23 means that 
there's three abilities at level 23 that I want to put points into, so I'm saving these points for level 23. So at level 23, I'll pick up Sneak, rank 4, Science, rank 3, Engineer, rank 2. Um, level 24, I'll pick up Scrounger, rank 3. Level 25, Gun Nut, rank 3. Level 26, Nuclear Physicist, rank 3. Rank uh, Level 27, Night Person, rank 2. Uh, level 28, Rifleman, rank 3. Okay, so now this is where I decided that I'm not going to be taking uh, perks anymore because the if you put the perks, uh, the upper upper level of the perks, they're much more spread out than the first like level one or level two of a perk because level one obviously opens up at level one, but level two perks tend have a tendency to open up at level like seven to. 12 I guess I don't really know the exact number but they're much more condensed and there's a lot more to choose from and trying to fit in and if you want to try to round out your level one perks it's kind of like a it's like a clusterfuck it's really dense I'll scroll back up it's really dense in this first part like every spot every level has a, a perk that you need to pick up I, I, I guess when I started in this build that I, I'm gonna follow um, it didn't really open up until I got to about level 29, where I found myself that uh, there wasn't perks to be, uh, there wasn't points to be allocated to perks. So I'm gonna start putting my points into my special stats. Special stats here, get it in frame. So I'm gonna pick up endurance three, four, and five, uh, rank on level 29, 30, 31, just for the ability Aqua Boy. So what's so special about Aqua Boy? I know I wasn't really going to talk about perks or anything, but Aqua Boy prevents radiation from swimming in water, and you can hold your breath for an unlimited amount of time. So the game takes place in Boston, on the coast, and there's going to be a lot of water. So <laughs> I feel like this perk is going to be a staple. And and you get it at Endurance 5, so it it's meant to be available to like the well-rounded players but obviously i'm not playing a well-rounded player i'm playing a high end character um so i feel like getting aqua boy about this point in time will open up certain aspects of the game hopefully at level 32 hopefully it won't be too late and i'll have to pick that up earlier on but we'll see um and then i'll start working on like my sniping abilities with perception level seven perception level eight so I can pick up Sniper 1 and Sniper 2. I'm looking to try to be a, uh, uh, if, if it's available, a uh, radiation weapon sniper, like a mad scientist radiation sniper. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, Scrounger level 4, Rifleman level 4, Gun Knot level 4, Sniper level 3, Science level 4 for the following levels, 37 through 41. Um, then I start picking up Luck. Uh, luck 7 is actually pretty important because you can start banking uh, critical hits. So right after I pick Luck 7, I pick up Critical Banker 1, 2, and 3. Followed by Rifleman level 5 at level 46. And then I start working on my agilities. So 47 through 50, I'm probably going to get agility 4 through 7. And then uh, I know I was going to stop at 50, but... The purpose of agility 4 through 7 is to get ninjas so you get plus damage to your sneak attacks. So when I'm sniping and I get that initial initial hit, and if I can save crits, you save you use a crit on a sneak attack, you're gonna one-shot a lot of things. So at at by the end of level 50, I'll have at agility 7, luck 7, perception 8. So agility 7, luck 7. Perception eight. My endurance will still be a little. Still be at two. My charisma will be at one. My int will still be at nine. So I'll have to work on past fifty. I'll have to work on strength, uh, endurance, and charisma. The weapons that I, you know, that I want to plan on using are non non automatic weapons. I want to use like bolt action rifles kind of phasing into sniper rifles and radiation weapons. It's not exactly, I, I was looking around Reddit a little bit, it's not exactly a uh, Rick Sanchez from the, the, the cartoon Rick and Morty, it's not an exact build, but it's pretty close.
I don't know if his perception would be as high as this, but. So there's the build. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link to the Excel sheet and a link to the perk information below the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the build, if you have any comments about it, if I can potentially improve it or not. Um, and I'll, I'll catch you guys next time.